Leak number four is no gateway. And this is when it's hard to buy from you. When, you know, there isn't something quite simple to say yes to. It's price just out of reach. You can't quite get a handle on what it is that you do. So if you were to build a product ladder with a gateway product like an audit, a calculator, a strategy day like Dell has just presented, a gateway product is something that someone can say yes to quite quickly. They experience what it's like to be your customer and then you're able to walk into a relationship with them that might be more financially profitable for you and meet their needs. Leak number five is no critical approval. And this is when they ask that key other person who can say no. This is the wife asking a husband, the head of asking the MD. This is when someone somewhere could veto this purchase. No critical approval. If you've not got that third party on side, then you have a potential leak. Moving on up is no proof. It's very unlikely that someone's going to put an idea in front of their boss to go ahead with that gateway purchase if there's no evidence that you're any good at what you do. So no proof is when it's all hot air, all promises, but no substance. It's when you see a bold claim, but no case study, or a, a, a promise on delivery time, but there's no customer satisfaction kind of statistics or evidence to back it up. If you make a promise, there needs to be evidence, either some sort of facts or figures, or an endorsement of an independent third party. So before someone is checking you out, looking at your case studies, looking at your evidence, they're going to be looking at a few different people. They're going to be looking at other options, usually. And at this stage, the easiest way to lose someone out of your process is to give them too much too soon. Information overload. Piles and piles of words on a page. Whereas the one that you then actually go and look at was simply laid out, was easy to navigate. Information overload is the kind of website that you go to that only has sales material and only has it densely packed. Getting the information right into invitation information is the website with really interesting blog, uh, interesting blog posts. Something that's bullet pointed, easy to engage with, kind of asks the questions that you were asking yourself. It's invitation information. It's just enough to invite you in. People are only going to be looking at that invitation information if they've, they've heard of you. you know, they actually know who you are and they want to find out a little more inf information. So the next leak as we move up is when it's not in the right format. So let's imagine you're a PA and you've been asked to do some research in a particular area you get the information together, and the only thing available is a web page, and you press print, and it comes out as gobbledygook. But, you know, you were only asked to do this this morning, and, and your chief exec is on the train that afternoon and wants to read this information. If your material isn't presented in the right format, it may not get read. Genuinely, press print on your websites, guys. People print to read. Other buyers sit in front of YouTube. You need to work out what the format is of the people who are researching what you have to sell and make sure that your information is represented for how they are looking. Let's say you've got your format spot on. They just don't happen across it. They don't happen to come across your brilliant video, your brilliant PDF, your brilliant piece of printed literature, which is leak number nine, not being represented where they're looking. Great stuff not in the right place. So this is when you know, you've created lots of brilliant material, but you're not getting it out there enough, or you're not getting it out there often enough for someone to really spot it and engage with it. And there's a thing that works in human psychology and in research and in lots of other areas, and it's almost like the third time you see something, that's when you notice it. So you see something in a, in a paper, you know, you're reading a newspaper or something, and then one of your friends mentions it. And then something drops in your inbox. All about the same thing. And it's the drop in the inbox on the third touch that you go, oh, I'm really going to look at this now. I keep seeing this person everywhere, or this thing. The thing about 
having something in the right format and making sure that you're accessible in those channels where you know people are looking is that you have to be there at the right time. So you've got the right format, you've got the right channel, but you're doing it at two in the morning or not. If you're selling overseas, you know, are you showing up when people are looking? If you're selling to business owners, business owners work 70, you know, 50, 70 hours a week. Saturday morning is great for emails to business owners. Crazy, I know, but it's true, particularly if it's lovely invitation information that just piques a question that they were just thinking about, and they keep seeing your stuff everywhere, and it happens to pop up when they're a little bit bored in a queue, in a shop, on their phone. Ooh. So making sure that you're showing up when somebody is looking is what comes next. You've got your format right, you've got your channel right, and now you need to get your timing right. Now, if you can map the lives of your potential buyers to when they are in those five minutes between other things and they happen to have a look at social media, that's when you need to be seen. That's when you need to be there. A day in the life, a week in the life, mapping it out can be really, really important and powerful in making the difference between whether that brilliant piece of content gets noticed or not. You might think that the reason this piece of content hasn't flown is that it was the wrong content. It may just have been in the wrong format or just missed the timing. And then there's who. So the leak here is not being mentioned by who they ask. So when my sister the other day put a Facebook update saying, anyone know a good lawn repair man in North Pembrokeshire? If, you know, if you're a lawn repair man in North Pembrokeshire and none of my sister's friends happen to mention you at nine o'clock in the evening on Facebook, then you've just missed a potential sale. So not being mentioned by who they ask. The next one is the worst. It's galling. This is when people know you but they've got you filed wrong in their head. Um, and this happens, this really happens. So one of the, one of, a client of mine um, does email services, but he also does outsourced IT. And he had a client come to him and to take all his email services away. Well, wh why are you leaving? Well, I need a fully outsourced IT company. We do that. I didn't know that. Lots of people might have you filed wrong. Ask people what they think you do, because that's what the world thinks you do. And leak number 13, no emotional impact. If I told you something that fundamentally changed your world, how often would I need to tell you? Once, for you to remember. When you were learning your times tables, how often did you need to repeat them to remember? Yeah. When something has emotional impact, you cannot help but notice it. If you don't get someone's emotional, prick up the ears, grab their eyes, you've missed an opportunity. They don't notice you. And if they do notice you, it's not for long because they won't remember you. So those are the 13 touch point leaks. If you're already making money, then all of these leaks, tweaking them by maybe 2% in some businesses, can actually lead to almost 127% uplift in sales. Little, little tweaks all the way through. And you now know where your issues are. And if you've looked at that and you think that looks like an awful lot of work, don't worry about it. You're OK. You're in business. You're not about to go under just because you know now know where your problems are. The best way to use it is to look at perhaps a three-phase plan. This could be a three-year plan for your business. And when you can do that, you have a watertight marketing process. You know that the money, the mental energy, the arguments with your spouse about all of that going into your business is going to pay back. You take control of your growth, and it's a sense of calm, clarity, that you know where those sales results are coming from. So if you want to take control, feel that calm, and know that the marketing investment you're making is going to pay back in sales results, then address those 13 touchpoint leaks, 
from the bottom up so that your people have somewhere to pause, somewhere to think, and then they actively choose to move forward and buy from you. Thank you.